Welcome back to John's Films, where I'm going to show you some tools to make your timeline more interesting. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is pair my music in with my footage. They don't seem to go together at this point. One way I can do that is to mark the transitions in the music so that I can match transitions in the footage. I can do that by just pressing the M key at every point that I feel like there's a beat in the music. So I'll play the music. M, 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 M. Now I have a visual marker of everywhere that I might want to build a transition in the footage. And I don't want to do it on every one. It becomes very robotic. Instead, I'd like to make some of the transitions That one felt a little late. Move that in. Yep, sure enough it was. There we go. So we'll start with that. And now we've got footage transitions on the beat. You can see it's got a theme here and the fall is part of it. You've got maybe a photo shoot going on of the family, the kid playing in the, in the leaves. And so what I want to do is give it a soft opening and kind of a cool, uh, cool down as we leave. And I can do that just by starting to move these sliders as I hover over each of these clips I can pull this slider bar over and that's for its visibility I can make the clip fade in and fade out just here on my timeline but doing that same thing with the music audio the music I get this little dot and I can further shape the curve in this case just kind of give it a bit of a more mysterious intro the next thing that I'm going to do is actually with the help of something a subscriber sent in, and it's a video pack that they've built of fusion transitions. And the fusion transitions add significantly to what's available in DaVinci Resolve Even Studio. So if I click on my effects at the top, I've installed these by dragging and dropping a file into Resolve. And I'll scroll down, and now I have a whole bunch of R visuals, which you can get at the link below, rvisual.store. But what's important is that you find transitions you like and are easy for you to use. In this case, let's look at this first one. I want to make this go with the story. We can see there's a lady, she's walking in the leaves, and she's coming at us, and then we flip to zooming into the story or into the forest, into the autumn. And so I feel like I'd like something that goes in. I don't want to like pull out with the music, it wouldn't match. And so I'm looking for it here. I've got our visual CM Pro zoom in. I grab it and I drop it. Now you've got her going into the forest and it really changes the way that the story works. Now looking at the rest of the story, there's a kid playing, he throws stuff up in the air. Oh, okay, so if he's gonna throw that in the air, I'm gonna pull that back for the story, right? I want to make sure that it's still up in the air because I'm going to a drone shot and now I can use a up transition. And that looks like it was a little taxing on the processor, but even without caching, it seems to have worked just great. And now it pulls me up into the, the clouds where I'm now pulling back down to this kid. So it builds a natural transition with your transitions. And that's what I like about the pack. Really, many of these are unique, and there's one I'll show you at the end when we see the final footage I really like, but a lot of them are, are pretty common. The trick is they're well organized, and so I can drop them wherever I want to tell the story I want. And there you have it. Mark your music with the M key so that you can use that to then get a visual marker when to transition some of your clips to tie it better to the music. You can fade in and fade out at the beginning and end, and you'll see that it has a big effect here at the end as we do it on the last clip. And then finally, find transitions that are easy for you to use. The transitions look good, but something my buddy Billy Ribka keeps telling me is it's only half of the story. You need to have some music. And here in my power bins, I've already added what was included in the pack, a R visual sounds. And this is all of the sounds that I can use to tailor my transitions. As it's an in, I want the audio to hit right as it happens, and it sounds like it's lined up. And so this is just kind of a bonus. Uh, it's a transition pack, and it's got a whole bunch of sounds, which can be difficult to find one by one by one. So I'm really thankful for that, and I like that this comes with the pack. 
The last thing it comes with is something I haven't played with yet. It's Real Buddy, and it allows you to reframe all of the footage and everything you've shot for each individual timeline. Say, copy this into another timeline, and then reframe it specifically for TikTok or Instagram or anything else that you plan to publish to. Pretty helpful. So let's take a look at the result. I feel like this sells it a little bit better. And notice I didn't use transitions in every step of the way. Maybe only in the ones where something big happens. Here a family, people get introduced. Here I have a really awesome looking Luma Fusion transition, Distort Luma Fade, and that's the one that I really mentioned and liked earlier. If you like this, feel free to pick it up. Otherwise, no skin off my back. I don't get compensated either way, but I am hoping it helps you. Thanks for watching and have a great day.